What's up, family? Stimulus checks are what we love to hear about, especially in the hopes that the government will provide one on a federal level. Now, mostly we have only seen them coming recently on a state level, which is still good, but only for those individuals in those respective states. But today we have information on some new $1,200 stimulus checks that would be available to everyone in all 50 states. Check this out right here, guys. There is a new proposal on the table to provide $1,200 monthly checks, I forgot to mention that, to all Americans. Now, in addition to that, we also have some $1,000 statewide checks going out earlier this week, and uh, we have new costs to bring back the famous and most popular program, the monthly child tax credit. I've got the details to share with you in just a moment, but first, if you could, be sure to subscribe to the channel as it is totally free. And if you could, please hit the like button for us as it really helps us grow on YouTube. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, we do want to go ahead and talk about some stimulus checks that are actually arriving this week or earlier this week. Yes, guys, for the state, New Mexico, they recently were told that they were potentially going to be receiving some rebate checks up to the amount of $1,000. And they are saying that those could have been coming sometime in the month of June. Well, guys, we just received word that those rebate checks have actually started arriving for some residents in New Mexico. It says right here, guys, that uh, the tax rebate checks will be processed today with money hitting bank accounts next week. Now, mind you guys, this particular article came out last week, which means that uh, these particular rebate checks are actually arriving this week up to $1,000. If you live in New Mexico, guys, you definitely want to be mindful of this because you could have a, a new stimulus check arriving in your mailbox or even in your uh, savings account or your checking account this week. You need to go ahead and check your accounts right now guys because you need to be aware of this information as well as this money hitting your bank accounts sometime this week guys now just to remind you guys that it says right here that for new mexico these tax rebate checks was approved in 2023 legislation session will begin to hit new mexicans bank accounts on june the 21st processing began on the 16th so yes guys a few days ago these particular checks have already been hitting people bank accounts and some people have actually been commenting in the comment section letting me know that those checks have actually arrive. So like I said, guys, if you live in New Mexico, you do want to go ahead and check your bank accounts if you haven't already, because you could have up to $1,000 sitting there waiting for you to be able to spend this money. And yes, guys, this is definitely some great news. Now, a little bit of information, guys, the state taxation and revenue department will send $500 rebate checks to single filers and $1,000 rebate checks to couples who file jointly. So anyways, guys, uh, that is the information information in regards to uh, some one-time statewide stimulus checks up to the amount of $1,000 and this is only for the state of New Mexico. But anyways, guys, moving on, we do want to go ahead and talk about a new proposal that is on the table right now with Congress, and it could give Americans in all 50 states monthly $1,200 stimulus checks. As you can see right here, guys, this is the latest information that we have in regards to providing stimulus checks on a federal level. We haven't pretty much seen anything like this in quite some time now, so it is great to see uh, news surrounding this information that is going to be providing some federal stimulus checks. Now, as you guys may have guessed it, yes, Representative Eon Omar has voiced her opinion on supporting two different proposals in which could benefit millions of Americans as well as their families. The first would provide an income floor for everyone in the face of inequality. And meanwhile, the second proposal on the table would make the expanded child tax credit permanent. Yes, guys, we all know that lovely program that pretty much every American in this country loved and we want to bring it back. Congress failed us once and hopefully they can make up for it and bring the child tax credit back once again. But anyways, guys, Omar said that she is keep pushing uh, for measures such as the guaranteed income basic program through legislative proposals like the Support Act. Uh, guys, the Support Act would uh, send $1,200 per month to every adult and $600 per month to every child. 
through some of the local governments via a cash payment over the next a five year period, if you will. That is in regards to her proposal that is on the table in regards to the Support Act. Now, this particular bill builds on successful uh, guaranteed income pilot programs that we have seen in localities uh, nationwide, including in Minneapolis, according to Omar. Now, again, Omar, along with other representatives such as uh, Rashida Tlaib and uh, Jesus R. Garcia, they reintroduced the In Child Poverty Act, which will replace the child tax credit and the child provisions in the Earned Income Tax Credit, or better known as the EITC, with a universal child benefit, according to the latest reports. Now, these particular three lawmakers said back in April that uh, on a federal level, this program would be universal and include no income phase ins or phase outs, and children will be automatically enrolled at birth. That is great, guys. Can they actually make it happen? But anyways, guys, uh, this particular children will be automatically enrolled at birth and every family would receive a monthly payment distributed by the Social Security Administration for every child that they are currently caring for up to the age of 18 years old. But like I said, guys, this is just a proposal by Representative Omar. And in addition to that, guys, she is also pushing to expand or bring back the child tax credit as well. The law Lawmakers' initiatives, and perhaps inspired by Minnesota's own proposal, under which families earning less than fifty thousand dollars per year would be given one thousand dollars per child through the state's child tax credit, regardless of their tax liability. And uh, the checks are estimated to benefit around two and a half million people in Minnesota, or families rather, totaling around three point nine billion dollars. And families could start receiving these checks in the early fall. Now, this particular plan in Minneapolis also expands the child and the dependent care credit to help families afford child care. And families would receive up to $4,000 per child under the age of five years old with a maximum of around $10,500 for child care. But again, guys, these are just a proposal. And like I said, I love this particular proposal, guys. I believe that Congress, as well as lawmakers, as well as representatives need to go ahead and bring this particular proposal to a vote in Congress to see whether or not what they feel about it and put it to a vote, guys. That is the only way to find out whether or not lawmakers actually agree with, number one, bringing back the child tax credit as well as offering a one-time or either a monthly stimulus check on a federal level. We already know that President Biden is not really doing much about providing a stimulus check, but if we can get Congress on board, that pretty much makes the difference, guys. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. I would love to get your take on this new proposal by Representative Omar. And then in addition to that, guys, we do want to go ahead and talk about another proposal in the House of Representatives that wants to restore the expanded and the improved monthly child tax credits. We just talked about it briefly in which Representative Omar is trying to push to bring that back. But we also have a new proposal on the table as well. Yes, a group of U.S. representatives has introduced the American Family Act legislation that would make the previously expanded and improved monthly child tax credit permanent. Now, so far, we all know how beneficial that child tax credit was during the pandemic time frame. And we also have this particular recent study that says that uh, the expanded child tax credit led to improved health and nutrition among majority of adults. So guys, we have all the evidence that we need on how important and beneficial the child tax credit was, which is why we are seeing multiple representatives as well as lawmakers, as well as people in Congress continue to try to talk about bringing it back on a permanent level. We also got the support from directly President Biden in which he said that he wants to also bring back the child tax credit on a permanent level as well. But again, guys, like I said, right now, the House of Representatives is trying uh, to bring this back. They are trying to uh, have discussions about it. They are trying to have negotiations around it in regards to how they can bring this back and what they will actually offer as well as how much they would actually offer in regards to a child tax credit. Uh, right now, guys, 
according to the 2022 law, it says that normal child tax credit, which is the credit that's on the books right now under the current law, the child tax credit is worth up to $2,000 per qualifying child under the age of 17 years old. But uh, the smaller credit and a change from the age limit back in 2021, which included children who were 17 years old, the credit is claimed in a one lump sum on your tax return. No monthly advances and the credit is partially not fully refundable. As before, the credit is subject to income limits. But like I said, U.S. representatives, uh, multiple of them would like to see the return of the expanded credit and would make it permanent. When we expanded and improved the child tax credit back in 2021 under the American Rescue Plan, it provided unprecedented economic security for American families. It was the largest tax cut for the middle class and working families in generations. So again, guys, that is what they are talking about right now, guys. And like I said, multiple individuals are wanting to bring this back as well as the American people in all 50 states. What do you think about this, guys? Let me know down below in the comment section. But just to add to that, guys, we also have a separate bill that is in the state of Oregon right now that is trying to bring back the child tax credit on a state level. As you can see right here, guys, it says that right now there is a bill to launch Oregon child tax credit gains and it is stemming in Saline. Let me just go ahead and explain to you guys. Oregon is poised to join a handful of other states that guarantee a direct cash payment to its poorest families, mimicking a federal program that briefly fueled a dramatic decrease in child poverty levels coast to coast before it was dismantled in 2022. But this particular legislature joint committee on tax expenditures unanimously passed a bill on on Tuesday that would establish a $1,000 per year called Oregon Kids Credit at a cost of around $37.5 million per year. Now, this particular proposal in Oregon now moves to the House for consideration. As originally envisioned by its backers, the Oregon version of the child tax credit would have been the nation's most generous, allowing families that make up to $50,000 per year to benefit at some level until their child turns 18 years old with payment topping out at around $1,200 per year. That would have cost four times as much as the current, more scaled back version of the plan. But instead, Oregon will grant single parents or families who make up to $25,000 per year a $1,000 annual credit for every child under the age of six years old in their household with smaller credits available for families with incomes up to $30,000. So anyways, guys, like I said, right now on a state level, Oregon is trying to push their own child tax credit just like a few other states as well so again guys we have some awesome news in regards to bringing back the child tax credit on a permanent level we have uh, people in congress trying to bring it back on a federal level and then we also are seeing other states like oregon bringing it back on a state level in the meantime this is some great news guys let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section but other than that guys hey i hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a few ways for you to be able to earn some free money or some free cash, such as signing up with Webull and depositing $1. They're going to give you 12 free stocks. Now, the good thing is that those 12 free stocks can actually be worth up to $3,000. So it is a great way for you to earn some free money as well as start your investing career or your future where you can make some free money over time. But anyways, guys, those are just a few. But if you are interested, be sure to check out the links down below. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. And I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.